Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a twin flame reading for the twin flame collective. So I'm going to start today by shuffling the energy oracle cards deck. I don't really have any initial thoughts or ideas on what is going to come through this reading and one card just flew out. So this is the temple path card in the upright position and right away I'm just hearing this strong yet simple message for someone listening which I feel for many will be a divine feminine listening who needs to have this reminder that she is on the right path. So I'm actually going to pull a card for you from the Starseed Oracle deck as well. So what else does this beautiful divine feminine soul need to know? Messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. And I heard you are the messenger, but a secondary message I heard along with this card reminds me of the general twin flame reading I did yesterday. So if you haven't yet listened to that reading, I would recommend exploring that as well. I believe I titled that reading, Twin Flames Hold Your Vision, It's Happening Sooner Than You Think. And the reason I'm bringing up that reading is because this is one of the three cards I actually pulled at the very beginning of that reading. And I said that it connected in potentially with someone receiving messages through very intense dreams. If you are having these intense dreams, I'm getting this message of you are on the right path. Don't allow these dreams, even if they do feel intense in nature, to cause you to question whether you are making the right decisions or on the right path. But I do feel that I heard soul messenger, spirit messenger. I feel like there is some visitation between souls happening through these dreams. Whoever I'm speaking to here, I didn't really expect to delve into these dreams, but now I'm feeling really guided in this direction. So I heard spirit or soul messengers, someone visiting you or you visiting them in dreams, whether this is happening unconsciously or consciously, although I feel if you're resonating with this message, this is something you are consciously experiencing. You are remembering some of these dreams, although I'm hearing there's even more to these dreams than you are consciously registering or remembering. But the reason you are remembering them is because you are a very advanced and ancient soul and therefore you are more perceptive, more energetically sensitive, capable of remembering what is happening through these highly energetic dream experiences. So for some of you, you might be remembering the dream, but the other souls visiting you in the dreams or whom you are visiting may not be as consciously aware of these dream experiences as you are, although these dreams are equally energetically shifting this other person, even if it's beneath their conscious level of awareness. Door to romance in the upright position. I heard closing an old chapter in order to open the door to something new. So I feel there's this energy of wrapping up something through these dreams, which again, very likely are visitations between yourself and other souls, whether you are visiting them or they are visiting you. I feel like there is some kind of message being exchanged between your souls. I'm hearing this was a very warm and familiar soul bonds. Door to value in the upright position. This person you are dreaming about is someone who really admires you, Divine Feminine, and who really sees your value and your worth. And they've noticed that you've started seeing your own value and worth as well. And it's filling them with a sense of... <laughs> It's admiration, but I almost wanted to say pride, like cheering you on from the sidelines. But I also see someone crying. There's almost like a twinge of sadness associated with this also. A feeling of needing to let you go.
I heard I'm resigned to our fates. Storm warning in the upright position, this feeling of, I feel really conflicted about letting you go because I know that it's like this person sees you as like a prize. They see your value and worth and I'm sensing that this may actually be a romantic soulmate from your past or even your present, but most likely from your past, a connection that was very warm and familiar and neither of you have forgotten about the other, even if time has passed. But I do feel that for the person I'm channeling, you may have been disconnected communication wise from this person for a while, or you may have actually met your twin flame, or you are about to meet a twin flame or a deeper soul connection. I'm seeing there's something big happening in your life right now, spiritually, in connection with love and romance that doesn't necessarily have to do with this person. I feel as though Divine Feminine, what I'm really getting to be blunt, and I know these mini readings are meant for specific groups of people, so I feel this will only be a few people listening, but I feel Divine Feminine that the person you are dreaming about might be a romantic soulmate, but you've met your twin flame or you are being opened for the entrance of your twin flame into your physical life and you're aware of this. So I feel as though you have been disconnected from this person in the physical, but you felt their energy very strongly. And I feel for you, Divine Feminine, this may have been really confusing because once again, I feel this is a person from your past. I also feel that although you might have some sadness at fully I'm hearing letting go of the possibility of being with this person in the future, in this lifetime. I'm just hearing this person say, this lifetime wasn't for us. I feel like you and this person share a very strong past life connection as well. So I feel like there were lifetimes. I'm hearing immediate recognition. So I feel like there were lifetimes where you spent your whole life together and lived a very happy life. And I'm hearing you had children. I see a feminine here who was a mother and you had this very warm, loving, safe, traditional kind of life and relationship in these past lives. And I feel that because of that past life connection, along with the fact this person may also be a very strong romantic soulmate bond for you, there was a kind of easiness to your connection and an immediate recognition. I feel that one of you may have recognized the other first and then the other recognized them through your ongoing interactions and communication because I hear this person saying one of us fell first and the other came to fall in love later on or over the course of time. We remembered who each other was. But the thing here about this romantic soulmate is that on a spiritual level, although they have all this admiration for you and they see you as this, again, this prize, it's funny. It's like this person sees you as a prize, but they feel like I keep hearing third place. Like they feel like there's something about bronze, like that they're taking the bronze medal here, not the gold, not the silver, but the third place. I'm hearing this person say everyone besides you or everyone I move on to date is going to feel like second best. Yeah, this person just thinks extremely highly of you, Divine Feminine. I'm hearing the name Anna, Annie, and something along those lines for someone, but that's, of course, probably just for one person. And as I was saying, I got a little sidetracked by this person's intense admiration for you. But as I was saying before, yeah, it's almost okay. So the fact I got sidetracked makes me feel like, first of all, this person may have, may be a destructible person or may literally be diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. But I'm also hearing that this person, it's like, they feel like when they look at you or when they think about you, everything else melts away. The whole world melts away. But once again, there's that sadness coming up again, that feeling of, but this lifetime wasn't for us. I feel this person saying, you're the love of my life, 
but I'm not the love of yours. And even though divine feminine, I feel that you have a lot of love for this person. I'm getting fire sign energy somewhere in someone's birth chart as well. I even literally heard Sagittarius, but also I'm feeling that the fall might be significant to someone because I'm seeing leaves turning color. So that might be significant to a person or to your connection. This fire sign energy though may also represent this person still feeling this fire of passion for you, but not really knowing what to do with it, feeling like they can't really do anything with it, which is why they might be coming through your dreams. I'm also seeing brown or hazel eyes if that connects with someone. And the fact that the imagery of fall is coming up because in fall, everything begins to die. The leaves begin to wither. And I feel like actually what I'm feeling is for some of you, summer may be a very significant time. I'm almost getting teared up here, just channeling your connection. Summer might be a very significant time for you, or you may have met when you were young, or I'm hearing like young adults or late teenage years for some of you. And there's this feeling of youthfulness, of vitality to these memories of your connection. Again, warmth. I keep getting warmth or heat. So this person might be from somewhere where it's warmer or hot a lot of the year. Or that might be where you met or connected. I'm hearing humidity also for someone, but also hot and heavy in that kind of expression of you and this person having a connection that was, I'm hearing for many of you, it was either young love or it felt like young love. And I also feel there was a lot of physical attraction here. So although there was a soul and is a soul component to this, there was a lot of attraction here as well. And so once again, I've been completely distracted. I don't normally get this distracted in a reading, but I feel this is this person's energy being so caught up in these memories of you, Divine Feminine, and almost being really distracted by thoughts of you. When you were together with this person, they may have at times just zoned out looking at your face or looking at you. I see them looking at pictures of you or you and them together and just smiling but again, there's every time I sense into this person thinking about you, Divine Feminine, I get this sadness. And I do feel it's because you have someone else in your life and this person is aware of this on a profoundly deep soul level. I'm getting that it's going to be kind of splits, people who connect with this reading. For some of you, this might be a twin flame who is aware that you are still with a romantic soulmate in your life and maybe they feel like this lifetime you aren't meant to come together or there's no way for you to come together. But for others of you, this is the reverse. So this person was a romantic soulmate. I'm hearing competing soul connections. This person may have been a romantic soulmate and the person you have now met or are going to connect with Divine Feminine is a twin flame and because it's a deeper soul connection, this person feels blocked out of your life or they see that they're being cut off from you spiritually, unconsciously. Now, the ironic thing is, I feel in many cases, you and this person haven't communicated a lot in the physical world, so this might not be something they know consciously. They might not consciously see you connecting with this other person. It's something they are feeling on a very deep spiritual level. Yeah, magician in the mirror in the upright position. You and I'm hearing... There's something about you, Divine Feminine, really coming into balance, coming into your own, and this person really admires you for that. I wanted to say you are really integrating your inner masculine and inner feminine energy and coming into alignment with your highest vibrational available soul connection. So the thing about this person is they may or may not be your twin flame, but regardless, it's a very high level romantic soulmate energy. And the problem here is whoever I'm speaking to, you're in a complicated position. And I feel that you may have been confused over which of these people in your life was your twin flame. And the reason for this confusion is because you're dealing with one connection that's a twin flame 
and one that is an extremely ancient and high level romantic soulmate, but not your twin flame, if that makes sense. So one person you share a lot of past lives with, and it's very rare to have this be the case to have two extremely high level romantic soulmates in your life. One being your most deeply held soul connection, your twin flame. And the other, I just keep getting this competing energy, like these two souls competing for you. Again, both very, very high level soul connections, but one of them is your twin flame and one of them is a very close, it's like the best way I can describe it is your twin flame is the origin point of your soul, which makes it a unique connection because you've shared every lifetime connecting consciously or con unconsciously in some way with one another. But this soul, this other soul came in very close after the origin point of your soul. So you've still been connecting with them for a very long time. I heard thousands of lifetimes. So that is what is confusing you, Divine Feminine. And I feel this won't be for everyone. But if you have this feeling of being confused or going back and forth between two people, not sure which one is your twin flame. Yeah, hostilities, this feeling of conflict, of inner conflict, but also this soul competition. These two people may not be consciously competing for you, but on a soul level, it's like their souls are spiritually competing, fighting for your love. And in fact, I feel that these two masculine souls actually share their own past life connection, whether they know one another or not in this physical world. In a past life, I'm hearing they fought to the death for you or like they competed for you in some way. So there's been this like ongoing saga spanning multiple lifetimes between the three of you between this twin flame connection and this high level ancient romantic soulmates connection that seems to just play itself out lifetime after lifetime because the three of you are all from the same soul family so that's what's putting you in a state of inner conflict over these two souls divine feminine but what i'm feeling with this soul who's coming to visit you is it's almost this feeling of Okay, another thing I was getting, I know so many messages are getting downloaded randomly, but not only is one of these a twin flame and one a high level soulmates, but also one is more available than the other. And so the sense of this I'm getting is one of these connections is just easier in this physical lifetime. It has more momentum put into it. It was easier for you to connect with this person in this life physically. And this person, whether it's the soulmate or the twin flame, they are more available and therefore they are your most available, highest vibrational form of soul connection in this life, which is why you may have made the decision or be making the decision to commit to the more available of the two soul connections. Whereas the other one may not be as available in this physical lifetime. And I feel again, this could be causing a lot of confusion within you because you feel two extremely deep soul connections. One I feel is a relationship you're already in or more connected into in the physical. The other one is less available, but they're vo both very present in your energy field and they're both really pulling on your energy. In fact, I feel some of you may have actually had dreams involving both of these masculine energies at the same time, but that won't be for everyone specifically. And what I really feel is happening through these dreams is the less available of these two very deep soul connections is essentially telling you through these dreams that it's okay for you to move on, to rise to your highest vibrational, most available form of soul connection, the connection that you have chosen, either literally made the decision to choose consciously or that your soul has chosen for this lifetime. And I feel like this person is, it's like you're getting some kind of soul closure together through these dream experiences, even if they seem very confusing or emotionally intense. You may even wake up feeling sad or feeling a twinge of longing for this person, even if you don't think about them often. And the reason for this is because you are picking up on this person's longing for you and their feelings of sadness. 
Yeah, man holding a heart in the reverse. It's like allowing this person to take back their heart. Of course, you're always going to be soul connected because this is a very ancient soul connection, regardless of whether it's a twin flame or a romantic soulmate. But I feel this person energetically stepping back a bit and freeing you to make your choice in this physical lifetime to choose the connection to exercise your free will divine feminine and choose the connection that i feel you've already chosen in your heart and soul in this lifetime but again there's still this element of sadness here I have a feeling if you're this divine feminine, because of these dreams, whether they've been conscious or unconscious, you have found yourself sleeping more, feeling more energetically drained, getting tired more easily, or feeling a bit emotional, even I'm hearing spacey or spaced out at times because of this person's energy. So I do really recommend using some form of energy clearing tool. This will really help you to clarify your own vision for your life to consciously create your life to order by releasing any negative subconscious attachments or feelings that could be weighing you down some of which i feel could be associated with this person or this experience so for this energy clearing exercise, I have created many energy clearing subliminal meditations specifically for twin flames with my most popular being a subliminal for twin flame surrender and one for twin flame seven chakra clearing. But also for you in general, I would recommend just a very deep level comprehensive energy clearing tool. And for this purpose, I've created a seven chakra clearing subliminal. This isn't exclusive or specific to twin flame connection, although it will work for twin flames as well. So regardless of whether you are on a twin flame path or whether you are dealing more so with soulmate connections here, this energy clearing subliminal will help you to deeply uproot any negative feelings or unconscious energies that could be weighing you down or creating negative emotional experiences in your life. This will really help you to feel more clear, free, and truly magnetic to attract your desires in all areas of your life by releasing those subconscious patterns that hold so many of us back from achieving our goals and dreams and living a truly happy and fulfilled life. So this seven chakra clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. This subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So there are subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts, for manifesting specific things, for money, for love and relationships, and for so much more. And you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website. And again, all of that information is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. I hope you have a truly beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Leave me a comment and let me know if anything here resonated with you personally. And I will talk to you again in the next reading.